With me here, I suppose our victory is all but assured. Led by the noble Yuan Shao, the anti-Dong Zhuo coalition succeeded in defeating Dong Zhuo's forces. They soon disperse, with each lord returning to his own lands. Dong Zhuo, who had fled to Shan'un, is soon killed by the betrayal of Lubu. As the chaos of the land peaks, each of the lords begins to make his move. The first to show their hands are Yuan Shao and Yuan Shu. The forces of the two become embroiled in a vicious battle with each other. The other lords soon take sides as the land is split into the two factions. However, though they had chosen sides in this battle, they still had their own desires and agendas. Each soon began to make plans to fulfill those desires. Guo Jia. He originally sought to serve Yuan Chao, but left after he discovered he was not a capable ruler. Later, he came to realize that Cao Cao was the most capable of uniting the land and went to serve him instead. He found numerous talented officers in an effort to bolster Cao Cao's forces. One day, Cao Cao's father, Cao Song, was killed by an officer under Tao Qian of Shu province. The incident would prove to be a test for Guo Jia's keen sense of insight. Master Man Chong, are you busy at the moment? Oh, please forgive me. I was caught up in my thoughts and must have been talking to myself. How may I help you? I would like to introduce you to Master Cao Cao. Are you going too, Master Shunyo? I always figured you to be somewhat like me, preferring to be lost in our own private thoughts. I recommended him to our lord. Master Shunyo is a prominent tactician in our family. Talent such as his is necessary if we are to bring an end to the chaos. Going to serve Master Cao Cao does not change who I am or what I do. I will continue to focus on devising and executing strategies for our cause. Clearly you must be capable if you have the support of both Master Guo Jia and Master Shun E. Very well. I shall go with you to meet Master Cao Cao. Master Man Chong, if you're coming with us, you should probably straighten up a bit first. He's right. Such an informal appearance could be viewed as a sign of disrespect to our Lord. While I respect your family's sense of honesty and virtue, I could really do without the constant scolding. Let's get going then, shall we? This is the world we have been born into, so we should focus on using our considerable talents to right its many wrongs.
shall we? If you need me. Oh. Hey, get on in here. Come again. <laughs> So you are the tacticians brought to me by Shun Yu and Guo Jia. My name is Man Chong. My specialty lies in designing traps for castles and general defensive preparations. I am honored to make your acquaintance. My name is Shun Yu. I am an expert in battlefield tactics. I see. My army currently has nobody like either of you within its ranks. Master Cao Cao, you have many mighty warriors such as Master Dian Wei beneath you. However, in order to eventually quell the chaos, you need skilled tacticians that can guide those warriors. Master Guo Jia, Master Man Chong, Master Shun Yo, and myself, each of us has our own field of expertise. Together, we can help guide you on your path forward. Excellent. I look forward to seeing just how far your talent can take me. My army is still rather small, but it has many talented warriors and strategists. I think our capability is sufficient for the task at hand. Our first move is to slay Tao Qian and obtain his lands within Shu province. I would like to hear your opinion on the situation. My lord, please forgive my impudence, but do you wish to attack Tao Qian in the name of vengeance? If that is what the world thinks, then so be it. However, the point in attacking Tao Qian is to get at the man behind him, Yuan Shu. Master Cao Cao is old friends with Master Yuan Shao. Similarly, Tao Qian is close to Yuan Shu, who is also at odds with Yuan Shao. I see where this is going. I know that we cannot make our move while our army lacks in size. However, if we do not seize this chance to take Shu province now, my journey becomes that much harder. Your journey? I seek to bring an end to the chaos and instill a new sense of order in the land. In order to do so, I must overcome the chaos through sheer military might. A new sense of order. So, attacking Shu province is the first step in making that a reality. I understand what you mean now. Of course he must deal with the coward Tao Qian. You can make your move and cause him to think you wish to talk. At the same time, you place an army behind him. That actually makes things quite simple. We attack where their defenses are the weakest. Haha, <laughs> Tao Qian won't know what hit him. I see. With that supposition in mind, let us speak of tactics. Shun Yo, what are your thoughts on the matter? First, I think we need to dispatch an army to put down the resistance within Qing province. You mean, 
The former members of the Yellow Turbans that are terrorizing the area. How does that relate to our attack on Shu Province? If you make a move, Tao Qian will think it is for revenge. If he truly is the coward Master Manchong suggests he is, he will hope to parlay with you. Once he approaches the front lines, that is your chance to slay him. Even if you fail, it will slow him down, enabling an auxiliary unit to strike his flank. Interesting. I like it. We shall proceed with your proposal. Many lives are likely to be lost on this path. However, it is a pain we must endure to end the chaos. Everybody, I ask that you join me in search of the greater good. Let's go. We shall slay Tao Qian and bring Shu Province under our control. Hmm. Cao Cao's gaze is turned outward. He does not appear to notice what is happening within his own ranks. Then now is my chance! The name Cheng Gong will soon be known across the land! We will slay Tao Qian and seize control of Shu Province. I will need your talents to make it a reality, though. You have to be kidding. Qian's army. We will have to remove them if we wish to cross to the other side. This is to finally bring an end to the chaos. We must succeed no matter what obstacles stand in our way. An invasion fueled by rage? That's pathetic! I will never give shoe profits to you. In that case, you leave us no choice but to defeat you in battle. We must obtain this land, no matter what the cost. Father, I am so sorry. Cao Song was not ordered by Master Tao Chen. Please, I must will you allow us to slay? There is no need. We are here for the sole purpose of defeating you in battle. Terrorize you province out of pure rage? I must be serious. You are invaders, pure and simple. I do not care what you think. We are here to fight, no matter what you say. So you have no ear for reason. What will happen to Shu Province now? Take the attack to the enemy! Forward! 
to Pang Castle. Ah, I look forward to tonight's celebratory feast. He explained he didn't mean to kill Cao Cao's father, but unsurprisingly, was executed anyway. I just can't forgive Tao Tao. I'm not going to fight any longer. These yellow turban rebels are quite skilled. If we can defeat them and get them to join us, it could greatly strengthen our army. Although we don't have the time to do it properly, let's just try to recruit as many as we can. tonight's celebratory feast. Wow, you're better than I thought. Jian's auxiliary unit has taken up position at the foot of the mountain. We must try to defeat it before it joins the main unit. We're advancing. Everyone follow my lead. 
Smash the enemy base to pieces! We all know our target! It is only a matter of attacking it! Alright. I need everyone to defend this area! Oh, I get it. That's where we're supposed to attack. <laughs> been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. Help Tao Chen like this. I need to retreat while I can. Ah! I look forward to tonight's celebratory feast. Oh, you've done well. <laughs> Victory is sweet! Well done, Guojia. You certainly make battle more exciting. that stole the vegetables? Yeah. I'm gonna make you pay for that. A robber? What? You don't look like Tao Chung's forces. 
But do we have to fight? I hope you enjoy this. Capturing the enemy's bases is the key to defeating them. See how you like this. I must be serious. Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. So you're not these after all? I'm sorry for the misunderstanding. My name's Chucho. Let me know if you ever need any help. It's the least I can do. I hope you enjoy this. I look forward to tonight's celebratory feast. We've received supplies from Master Shuju. An apology for attacking us. Oh, thank you. Now we can fight at least a little longer. Simple lives of peace and prosperity. Until Master Tsang Tsang came and took all that away. Bringing turmoil to the lives of the innocent is a crime I cannot overlook. Master Tsang Tsang. No. Tsang Tsang. Prepare yourself. We shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy to rule. We must capture that position. I'm relying on everyone to do their best here. We must advance our forces. Follow my lead. Our target is that parcel of land. Prepare to move. That area is too good for the enemy. It'll be put to much better use by us. See how you like this. I must be serious. I shall return after revealing my strategy. <laughs> Victory is sweet! Very well done, Guojia. I am fortunate to have a strategist like you. We shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. You almost had me. Oh, my God. 
Sun Guojia. You certainly make battle more exciting. <laughs>
Hey, get on in here. Come again. Welcome, welcome. Do please come again. Conflict if possible. It seems I will have to be prepared to go to battle after all. This man is driven by hatred and wages war to satisfy his desire for vengeance. I cannot let him take control of Shu Province. Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly. All units, march! I hope you enjoy this. All right. I need everyone to defend this area. Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly. All units, march! See how you like this. I must be serious. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. The capture of that area is our goal. Secure it, and we will take the enemy's spirit as well. Everyone follow my lead! Begin the advance. Overwhelm all of the enemies. to defend this area. Well done, Guojia. You certainly make battle more exciting. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. See how you like this. I must be serious.
target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. See how you like this. I must be serious. I expect nothing less from you. Well done, Wojia. You certainly make battle more exciting. You've got ruined the shoes, outside. Simply for the sake of your own personal vendetta. You How could this. I lose to such a man? I am willing to be reviled. If that is the price I must pay, to continue on my path. <laughs> Victory is sweet! Liu Bei gave us a bit of trouble, but we've managed to mostly pare down Tao Qian's forces. The enemy moved just as Master Man Chong and Master Shun Yo anticipated. It sure helps to have quality strategists on your side. Yes. Our forces have become more powerful than I imagined possible. It is only a matter of time before Shu Province falls to our onslaught. My lord! It's... it's Lu Bu! Yan Province is under attack by Lu Bu's forces! Curse that Lu Bu. He could not have picked a worse time to invade. In response to Lu Bu's attack, castles throughout Yan Province are defecting to his side. Upon hearing the news, Lord Shahu Dun and Lord Shun Wu have already set out for Yan Province. D defecting You mean the castle lords have turned their back on Master Cao Cao? So, Lu Bu was the source of my premonition. I wonder if my uncle is okay. I never expected Lu Bu to invade Yan province at a time like this. Although, he is usually one to rely on brute force, not such refined strategy. They defected due to Lu Bu's presence? I could understand them surrendering, but to immediately switch sides like that, there's something strange going on here. Hmm. It appears somebody has moved against us. Shu province was just within our grasp. Now we have no choice but to deal with this situation first. Everybody, we must quickly return to Shu Chang. I want Lu Bu driven from Yan province immediately. <laughs> 